the stage right now. He is visiting from LA. We tried to book him on this show like eight months ago, but he was just leaving town, so we haven't been able to have him. But he is here with us tonight. We are so excited. So I want everyone to please clap your hands right now. Wonderful. One more time for Brittany and the whole show, right? Oh, uh, this is so happy to be back in Chicago. I hate California so much. It's, it's a wonderful place if you love to feel terrible about yourself all the time. And I do. I feel bad a lot. And one of the only things that makes me feel better about myself is I remind myself where I came from. Because I grew up in a double white trailer in the woods. Yeah. So that bar I have to get over to not be a disappointment is just on the ground. I should be living in a shed married to a body pillow with just a picture of Oxycontin on it. But I own a car and have most of my teeth, so hell yeah, you know? It's fine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I flirt with the idea of moving back to the woods because whatever. Like I, I feel that way a lot. Like I want to move back, but I can't. At least not now. I'm not the right age. I'm in my 30s. You can do it when you're young. You're like an Eagle Scout. You're an adventurer. Wow, that's cool. You know. You can do it as an old man because then you just get drunk all the time and just look at fire and think about loss. You know? <laughs> But at my age, you're just in a militia. <laughs> and I don't want to do that at all. <laughs> I can't make friends in a militia. <laughs> Dear diary, I hate camp. <laughs> These guys are white separatists and I just like movies. <laughs> We look down on people, people from uh, rural areas, and we should most of the time, you know? I'm not gonna lie, I'm from a rural area, and we should. But, let's not act like we did anything special by living in a city. Living in a city is not an accomplishment. You ever get someone that's like, you know, pretentious about where they live because it's larger than where you live. You ever meet someone from New York and they're like, I'm from New York. And you're like, wow, you're from the place where the most people are from. That's very special. You know the guy on the train with all the jugs of piss? He's accomplished the exact same thing as you. But he has more piss. <laughs> That's what a city's for, is to live in it. It's made. That's why there's apartment buildings and streets. You know? What's a city without people? Besides Detroit. But you know. <laughs> Sorry about the audio industry or whatever. That wasn't my fault. I'm 36. <laughs> Whatever, I'll shut up. <laughs> oh, man. Then we act like people do, did something wrong by living in the middle of nowhere, right? Like, ah, oh, what are you doing living out there? You idiot. <laughs> he lives under a canoe and sells worms for a living. We don't want him near a school. What are you, what are you doing? You're doing everything right. <laughs> the problem is when the people they meet, when people meet, like I was in a, I went to a movie in Pueblo, Colorado. My fault. I get it. <laughs> I encounter some mountain folk. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> they sat next to me and they were chewing so loud. They sounded like they were making fun of people who chew. <laughs> right? It's like, ah, ah, ah. These dickheads who chew. Ah. Oh, you ever hear them? Ah. It's like chewing. And then I heard one of them go. Oh, fuck. I dropped it. I 
I dropped the pickle. <laughs> what was happening was this whole family was passing out a pickle. A communal pickle. Right? That everyone was so familiar with that they had a name for it. The pickle. That's fucked up. That's mountain snacks. You know what I mean? You don't bring, you don't bring produce to a movie? That's like David Koresh snacks. You know what I mean? Like they live in the Iron Building. They call their dad God. You know? Now that I think about it, it's probably the worst part about being in a cult. The snacks. <laughs> David Koresh, you know, he's not buying fruit by the foot. <laughs> he's buying something fucked up like cornmeal by the decaliter or whatever. <laughs> and I know kids, they hate the metric system. 